true projects. In this video, we are going to explain about a project titled Emission Learning Model for Average Fuel Consumption in Heavy Vehicles. The project introduced a machine learning model that predicts the average fuel consumption of heavy vehicle. Unlike traditional approaches based on time periods, this model employs a data summarization technique that focuses on distance traveled. It utilizes the seven predictors generated from the vehicle speed and road grade. The model can be implemented and utilized for each individual vehicle within a fleet, enabling the fuel consumption optimization across the entire fleet. To predict the fuel consumption, the model aggregates the predictors over fixed window sizes of distance travel. Different window sizes are evaluated to determine the optimal size for accurate fuel consumption prediction. The project objective is to create a machine learning model that predicts the average fuel consumption of heavy vehicles by utilizing a data summarization technique based on the distance rather than time interval. This model can be applied to each vehicle within a fleet to enhance the fuel efficiency across the entire fleet. The project also examines the various window sizes for aggregating the model's predictors and identify the most effective window size for accurate fuel consumption prediction. Additionally, the project intends to extend the model to encompass the other vehicles with different characteristics. And these are the basic requirements that are needed to build this project. Operating system as Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 4 GB and above, hard disk of 20 GB and above, software requirement, Python IDEL with version of 3.7. These are the modules that are developed to build this project. The first module is Upload Heavy Vehicles Fuel Dataset. This module allows the users to upload a training dataset containing the fuel consumption data for heavy vehicles. The second module is Read the Dataset and Generate the Model. In this module, the application passes the uploaded dataset, separating it into the training and testing part. The dataset is divided into 80% training and the 20% is for testing. And the third module is run all algorithms that is ANN, random forest and SPM. This model is used to implement the ANN, random forest and support vector mission algorithms. It runs all three algorithms simultaneously to predict the average fuel consumption. The model creates objects for each algorithm and feeds the training and testing data into them to generate the models and predictions. And the fourth module is predict the average fuel consumption. This module facilitates the prediction of average fuel consumption. Users can upload the new test data and the model applies the trained model to predict the average fuel consumption for the test records. And the fifth module is fuel consumption graph. In this module, the application generates a fuel consumption graph for each test record. The graph provides a visual representation of the predicted average fuel consumption for the corresponding testing data. This allows users to analyze and compare the fuel consumption patterns across different test records. And the final module is comparison graph for all three algorithms. In this module, the application generates a comparison graph for all the three algorithms like of ANN, Random Forest and SVM. The execution of the project. To execute the project, first we need to open the code folder. This is the code folder consisting of different files. The first folder is dataset folder consisting of fuel dataset and the testing dataset. The fuel dataset means of the training dataset. And the second one is code file named main of my python. And the third one, this is the run.bat file. Instead of executing the program in command line interface, we created the windows bat file to execute the project. Now to run the project, double click on run.bat file. This is the graphical user interface. With this, we are interacting with the program. First, we need to click on Upload Heavy Vehicles Fuel Dataset. Using this button, we are going to import the dataset from this corresponding folder and select the fuel dataset and click on Open button. 
Here we get a screen that data set is loaded. And then click on read data set and generate model button. It is used to read the uploaded data set and to generate the training and testing part data. Here the data set length is of 702. Hence, it is divided into training part and testing part. Here, it is user of training that is 561 and for testing, it uses of 141. And then click on run all algorithm button. Here, we can see the console of epochs for the algorithms of ANN and also, the SPM and random forest is also applying. And we got an accuracy of ANN is of 87.9 and random forest of 76.5 and SPM of 69.5. And then click on predict average fuel consumption button. Here we need to select the test data from the dataset folder and then click on open button. In this screen we got the average fuel consumption for each test record per 100 km and this we can say that for this test data we get average fuel consumption is 4 and for this test data we get the average fuel consumption is 7 in this way we can predict the average fuel consumption of a heavy vehicle by using the machine learning models and then click on fuel consumption graph button in this graph, x-axis represents the test record number and the y uh, number as vehicle ID and the y-axis represents the fuel consumption for the record. And then close this consumption graph and then click on comparison graph of all three algorithms. In this graph, we can see x-axis represents the algorithms we used in this project and the y-axis represents the values assigned for the each algorithm of accuracy as the. In this way, we can create a graph for three algorithms and then close this graph. Finally, the project presents a machine learning model for predicting the average fuel consumption in heavy vehicles using a data summarization approach based on the distance rather than the time period. The model relies on seven predictors derived from vehicle speed and road grade, which are readily available from telematics devices that are becoming an integral part of connected vehicles. The proposed model can be developed and deployed for each individual vehicle in a fleet to optimize the fuel consumption over the entire fleet. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.